Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a drugstore fall makeup tutorial and I love makeup looks like this for the fall time. It's just, I just love a really pretty like smoked out outer corner, this kind of red burgundy that goes with like a nice burgundy brown lip color. If you haven't noticed yet, I've been posting videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So that is my schedule. And if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe, but let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. First, I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And I wanted to do my eyeshadow first today just so if there's any fallout or anything like that, I can clean it up. And I also wanted more of a defined edge over here. So that's why I'm doing my eyeshadow first. And since I'm going to be using some darker colors today, that could possibly have fallout. So, And then I'm just going to let that eyeshadow primer dry for a minute. I find that it's better if you let eyeshadow prim primers kind of dry for like a minute before you put your eyeshadow on so it doesn't, you know, grip in weird spots and not blend well. I'm just gonna put on this Milani Keep It Smooth um, lip conditioner. And if you are wondering what nail polish I have on, it is OPI's Miami Beat. And it's beat like the Vegetable beat, B-E-E-T, not beat as in like a drum beat. <laughs> it's like a play on words. Okay, so I'm going to be using most of the colors out of the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Vitality palette today. And I might use some other colors from some other palettes. I'm just going to see how this go goes and what I decide to do. Um... But first, I'm just going to go in with this shade. Just knocked my elbow on my table. I'm just going to go in with this shade first. And I'm just going to use my Morphe four, or M433 brush. And I'm just going to blend that color in the crease. And I really like this palette. I mean, the shadows can have a little bit of fallout, but honestly, I feel like they blend so nice. And for, I think this palette was like $8 or $7 from Ulta. I just think that's an awesome deal. It's just so good. And then I'm just going to blend out here. And it doesn't really matter out here so much, you know, if it gets down too far, because I'm going to clean that up before I do my foundation. I feel like this shadow is just so easy to blend. It's very pigmented. I'm just using windshield wiper motions, just blending it back and forth. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm just packing that color on my Sigma E60 brush. And this color really isn't the most pigmented by itself, so I do recommend to use a makeup setting spray with it. I'm just going to mist my brush with my MAC Fix Plus. And I just find that when you do that with that eyeshadow, it really kicks it up like kicks it up a notch and it just makes it look more intense on your eyelid. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye. Next I'm going to go in with this shade here. And I'm just using my e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm just going to pat that color out here first and then I'm going to blend and I actually want that color to be more red it's it looks a little more pink than what I was hoping it would. So I'm just going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Fiercest Fire palette. And this shade down here, it's like a brick red. And I'm just going to go on top 
of that other one. So I would say, you know, if, if I was like doing this over, if I was doing this over, I wouldn't use that first red and I would just go in with this one just cause this was more of the red I was going for. And then I'm just taking my clean Sigma E25 blending and I'm just gonna go around the edges of that to blend that out first before I add anything. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that shadow, that brick red, get it on the tip of this brush and I'm just going to lightly blend that here in the outer V. And I'm gonna be adding some other colors here in a minute to this to deepen this up. But I just want this to kind of peek out behind the darker colors that I'm gonna use. So I'm just going to really smoke this out but just keep it in the outer V area. I'm gonna just kind of build on this. So next I'm going in with this color down here and I'm just gonna wipe off that e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm gonna pack some of that color on the brush and I'm just gonna go on top of the other color like I'm just gonna slowly start adding darker colors to this red to just deepen it up. I'm gonna get a little bit of that color on this brush, the Sigma E25, and I'm just gonna lightly blend that. This is just gonna create a really pretty smoky effect. And then I do wanna go back with that first brown that I used in the crease and I'm just going to blend just a little bit because I don't want to completely lose that cooler tone. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this really dark brown. Just gonna wipe that um, e.l.f. concealer brush off again. And I'm just gonna pat this like a little bit further down on the eye. Like see how you still have the red peeking out right there? But I'm just patting that color down here. Just gonna do that over here. So I just wiped off this Sigma E25 blending, um, got some more of that really dark brown, and I'm just going to lightly blend that here in the outer V. I just really like all these colors together. It's so fall. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with an even smaller crease brush. I'm just gonna go in with my Wet n Wild crease brush. And I'm gonna grab some of the black color in this palette. And I'm just going to pat that color even further down on the lid, just right out here. I really feel like this creates a really pretty like gradient effect for the outer V. I really like this. I'm gonna grab a more precise um, crease brush and this is the Jane Ardell crease brush and I'm gonna get some of that black on the tip of that brush and I'm just gonna barely work this out here. I don't wanna take this out too far at all. Just using little, little circular motions and just pulling it in just ever so slightly. I am gonna go back with my Sigma E25 blending. I'm just gonna wipe it off. 
and I'm gonna go back with the Fierce as Fire palette. And I actually got this palette free whenever I ordered um, some Makeup Revolution stuff from Ulta. So I don't know how much this palette is, like if you were to just buy it, but my guess is it's probably around the same price as their uh, Reloaded palettes. But I'll have to link it down below for you guys. Um, but I don't know if Ulta still has that deal right now. So um, I think it's a really great deal to get this for free. It's a really nice palette. I'm just going in with some more of that color and I'm just blending that just a little bit over those colors here in the outer V. I just really want it to look like a deep, smoky, like red, you know, kind of like the color of my nail polish. Like I just wanted, to, wanted it to have that look. So that's why I kind of built on it and made it darker. It just, I don't know, really like the look of that. and. I might actually go on the lid um, with a different color besides this because I just wanted it to be a little bit more intense. So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like my voice just cut out. My L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Ice Latte. Go in with my finger and do the Ice Latte thing. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm kind of all over <laughs> in this tutorial today. I should have like practiced this look so I would be like more precise with telling you guys what to do. I'm just kind of doing this as I go, like just coming up with this makeup look as I go. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the Makeup Revolution metal eyeshadow in rose gold and hopefully this does not mess up my look. This stuff is so creamy and so intense. I might actually go in with a brush. It might be easier to apply it that way, like more precise, anyhow. But I don't know how well that product gets onto a brush. Well, I guess it works okay. Okay, so <laughs> you might could skip some of those steps that I just did, but I was just curious to try out some of these products. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my liquid liner. Well, I guess maybe should I clean up first? I might clean up first and then do my liquid liner. So let's do that. Okay. So I'm just using a makeup remover wipe and I'm just going to wipe off all that fallout. It's the only bad thing about those eyeshadows, especially the dark ones. I don't really have a lot of issues with the lighter ones, but the dark ones especially have some fallout. Okay, and then I'm just going to clean this up out here. For my liquid liner, I'm just going in with this black e.l.f. liquid liner. I'm just going back with a little bit more of that, the Fiercest Fire palette in that red. And I'm just going to put some more of that up here because I wanted it to be more red up in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and I'm going to do false lashes today. And for my false lashes, I'll show them to you. i got to get them out of my drawer. I'm just going to use the Ardell Demi Wispies. So just whatever mascara you want to use. I'm probably going to use... I guess my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black because this is the mascara I like to use whenever I do false lashes. So I'm just going to do just a light coat of this and then I'm just going to go ahead and put those false lashes on. So for my foundation, I'm going to go in with a mix of these two, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the Pro Glow. I have been loving mixing these two foundations together and I usually just do equal parts or I might do just slightly a little bit more of the Pro Glow than the Pro Matte just because the Pro Matte shade that I have is slightly a little too dark for me. Um, the shade that I'm using in the Pro Matte is 102 and in the Pro Glow is 202. So I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to dot some of this here on my face and I'll link down below or list list and link down below all the products that I'm using today. Um, and I'll also list what I use as my skincare stuff because I did that while 
the lash glue and everything was drying off camera. Sometimes I feel like that just gets so redundant, like doing the skincare stuff. But I'll just list down below what I use for you guys. And I'm just blending this foundation in with my Infallible Beauty Blender from L'Oreal. And I did dampen this off camera. So with these foundations, you don't have to work in sections, but I just like doing that. So just usually start it on this side. Today is the first day of fall, the day that I'm posting this, which I think I already mentioned that in the intro, or I'm going to, because I haven't filmed the intro yet. Um, but I seriously hope it starts feeling like fall time around here soon, which I'm sure it will. But um, I just love fall weather. I love it when the trees are changing colors. And I don't know, I think another reason why I really like fall is because whenever I was in high school, I was in marching band and it just brings back those memories of, you know, going to the marching band competitions and going to the football games at school and stuff like that. So I don't know, it just brings back a lot of really good memories. So I think that's another reason why I just really enjoy fall. And I know it's like kind of so basic to <laughs> love fall so much, but it really is my favorite season of the year. It's just so nice, like the weather's nice. There's just so much to do and I don't know. It's just the best time of year for me. And then for my concealer, I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And then I'm just going in with my Dampened Mini Real Technique Sponge. And I'm just going to blend that out. Just using little patting motions always want to pat your concealer in and then to set everything you guys know the routine on this i'm just going to use my l'oreal true match super blendable and my elf hd under eye setting powder i might just use just the littlest amount of that hd under eye setting powder because i don't know i feel like lately my under eyes have been kind of dry so you know sometimes when you use setting powders underneath it just makes it look that much more dried out um actually i think i'm just going to use my elf brush And then I'm just going to go with just a little bit of that setting powder and just lightly dust that underneath here. I don't want to use too much because like I said, I've been feeling kind of dry on my under eyes. And then with my eyebrows, I'm just going to fill them in just a little bit. They finally healed up from their microblading like perfecting appointment. My coffee is so cold now. <laughs> um, so... I'm just gonna go in, well, actually, since this is a drugstore tutorial, I'm not gonna go in with that. Let's go in with um, my Maybelline, or my Maybelline, my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kits, and I'm gonna use some of this middle shade right here. And I'm just going to fill in my brows just a little. I feel like it's been forever since I've used this kit for filling in my brows. I use it all the time for eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use my Essence Make Me Brow. contour a little bit first and I'm just going to use my NYX blush and taupe and my Morphe M504 brush and I'm just going to lightly contour I just feel like since I have more of a dramatic look going on today I just want to contour a little bit And it's best if you just get a little bit of that on your brush because it's better to build up a contour than to go in super strong and then try to make it not look as strong. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this and also run it down the sides of my nose just to contour a little bit. And to just give my face a little bit more definition. 
is totally optional. But I find since this brush is more precise, it's easier to do that sort of thing. And I'm just gonna kind of contour my jawline a little bit. Okay, and then for my bronzer, I'm going in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and my Morphe R2 brush. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite brushes for bronzing. This brush and my Real Techniques powder brush, I love. Love both of those brushes for bronzing. Usually what I do is I go in with my R2 here on my cheeks because it's a little smaller and more precise. And then when I go to bronze my forehead, which here in a second I'll show you, I go in with my Real Techniques powder brush. So my Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm so surprised that I have not hit pan on this Real Techniques bronzer. Real Techniques. <laughs> Physician's Formula bronzer yet because I feel like I use it so much and have not hit pan on it yet. I mean, a lot of the little ridges on that bronzer are gone, but I haven't hit pan on that bronzer yet, which is surprising. But I just blend around my hairline. Pepper so upset hers wants to come in. Maybe I should let her in. Pepper, are you so upset hers wants to come in here and be with her mama? Yeah, well, hers cannot stand not be with her mommy. Yeah. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. <laughs> Oops. Now that I brought her in here, she'll probably want to go right back out because I closed the door, but I don't want to leave it open right now. Be good, Peppy. Okay. I feel like I got cat hair on my face. I think today I'm going to use my Mochalicious lipstick from Wet n Wild. I was debating between this and Cherry Balm. I don't really know which one I want to use because Cherry Bomb is like darker and more intense. And then uh, Mocha Lish is a little more wearable, more brown. I mean, could totally get away with either. I don't know. Like, I kind of want to do Cherry Bomb just because it's so out there. But I don't know. I feel like I did Cherry Bomb recently in another tutorial. So let's do Mochalicious. We're just gonna do Mochalicious today. Peppy, are you up on my lap? And I'm just gonna line my lips with my Rimmel um, Exaggerate Lip Liner in Epic. I'm just going in with Mochalicious from Wet n Wild. Can you see her? Are you gonna get up on the chair? You gonna get back there? Do you smell coffee breath? <laughs> okay. So, now we're gonna go ahead and do the blush and the highlights. I know you guys probably get sick of me using this blush, but I'm sorry, it's just like my favorite and I'm gonna use this. <laughs> this is my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. And I'm just gonna put that here on my cheeks. It's just the perfect blush, especially when you do looks like this, where, you know, you don't want the cheeks to be too overpowering, like the color. And then for my highlight, so this was one of the other Makeup Revolution things that I ordered, and this is the, I don't even know what this is called, because the sleeve. I think I may have thrown the packaging away on this, but this is just one of their highlighting palettes, and I love all the colors in here, so pretty. But I'm gonna go in with a mix of these two highlight shades here, and I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques contour brush. But these highlights are so intense, so intense. I just love these. 
really been enjoying it ever since I bought it. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it here on my nose, kind of like down the center of my face. The last step that I'm going to do with this look is I'm just going to mist my face with makeup setting spray just to lock all this on. I'm getting ready to go to church here in a minute. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I hope that you guys did enjoy this drugstore fall makeup tutorial. I just love this lip color in Mochalicious because it's a darker like nude, like a darker brown nude and it's like a good fall lip where it's intense but it's not so intense that you feel like self-conscious for wearing it because like I love the cherry bomb color but sometimes it's so dark I feel like everybody's just looking at my lips so I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you did please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what other fall makeup looks you would like to see and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.